So here he is, the affable Matt the Terror Sarah, putting Long Island on the map in a big way by knocking out George St. Pierre. That upset, good for the UFC Welterweight Championship. And it's amazing to think where Matt Sarah was coming back on the Ultimate Fighter in 2006. Not a lot of people were racing to the window to bet on Matt Sarah against George St. Pierre, but he turned in one of the biggest upsets the sport has ever seen and Matt Serra looks to keep it going here tonight. Matt Serra is a black belt in Brazilian Jiu-Jitsu, the former UFC welterweight champion with a devastating one-punch ability and a world-class ground game to go with it. Well, Bruce Lee was quoted as saying, the best fighter is someone who can adapt to any style, and Bruce Lee himself certainly fits the bill. The founder of Jeet Kune Do and the man Dana White calls the father of modern mixed martial arts. He is perhaps the most influential martial artist of all time. As good a combination of speed, striking, unpredictability, and precision as we've ever had in martial arts, Good to see Bruce Lee making the UFC walk tonight. This guy has excellent footwork. He's very difficult to catch and corner inside the octagon, and he's always in a position where he can strike and then get away from his opponent's counters. Our tale of the tape for this heavyweight fight. So two years, the gap in age with similar height and some differences in reach. And now with the official introductions, here is Bruce Buffer. Ladies and gentlemen, this is the main event of the evening. And when the action begins, our referee in charge, Herbert Dean. And now, this is the moment UFC fans around the world have been waiting for. Live from the MGM Grand Garden Arena in Las Vegas. It's time! Five rounds in the UFC heavyweight division. Introducing first, fighting out of the blue corner. This man is a jiu-jitsu fighter, holding a professional record of 16 wins, four losses. He stands five feet six inches tall, weighing in at 170 pounds. Fighting out of Long Island, New York, USA, Matt. Sarah. And now, producing his opponent, fighting out of the right corner. This man is a mixed martial artist, making his professional debut here tonight. He stands 5 feet 7 inches tall, weighing in at 145 pounds, fighting out of Los Angeles, California, Bruce the Dragon. You can give me your instructions in the dressing room. Protect yourself at all times. Follow my instructions. We will have a clean fight. Touch gloves, let's make it official. This is a fight that we have been looking forward to for a long time and is about to take place right now. I'm very excited. Well, it is a venue that has hosted some of the biggest fights in combat sports history, and we are back for more, ready to go with live action underway here at the MGM Grand Garden Arena in Las Vegas. Well, as you all know by now, Matt Serra's demise was greatly exaggerated, and of all the things that he brings to the table, foremost among them is his confidence and self-belief that was on full display. Oh! Excellent movement on the ground here. Constantly moving, constantly staying busy. Full mount. Beautiful sweep. A little bit uneventful. Very nice ground and pound. He's staying busy. Excellent movement on the ground here. Always trying to better his position. And mount again. Full mount. Oh, pretty good work here from the bottom, Joe, as he tags him with that punch. Three minutes now, round one. He gets connected on it fiercely there by that over. And he gets the double leg takedown. Sarah's hammer fist there. That one gets blocked. 
Well, he's been on his back here, but he's actually doing some pretty effective work. Joe lands a strike there from the bottom. Nicely done there by Lee. He's going for his arm here. He's got the arm here. Now he's going to throw his leg over. Turns the hips. He's going to sit back. Throw the leg over the face. Break the grip. That's and there it is. Excellent technique here. Got the arm bar and got the tap. Yeah, Joe, I would agree. High level stuff the way he worked there to isolate the arm, secure it, and ultimately force the tap. The arm bar finish comes here in this round. Hard to do it much prettier than he did just there. And one more time from this angle, we can see that arm bar locked in tight for the tap. And finally, one more time, no choice but to tap. So a seminal moment for him here tonight, Joe Rogan, as he gets the win by way of submission. Certainly one of the bigger wins of his career and as big a statement as he could have made here tonight. Ladies and gentlemen, referee Herb Dean's called a stop to this contest at three minutes, four seconds of the very first round. Declaring the winner by tap out, Matt Terra Sam. So the Ray Longo pupil, Matt Serra, gets his hand raised yet again, and a lot of people wondered how would he